Stack wipe. Oh, and it got me like no participation because I instantly wiped them. Man, fucking fantastic. I wipe out their army and I get nothing for it. How, how unfair is that? I think he was talking about unconditional peace or surrender. I am not unconditionally surrendering somehow. Increase my participation. Gain 10 legitimacy, which I don't need, or get more Patriarch Authority. Patriarch Authority all the way. Give me westernization. Yeah, but I can't. I Shiro, I cannot possibly actually um, core it. wasn't your idea. Yeah. Uh, the vanilla version would be very different to this. A lot of the changes that have come in have been like quality of life, make things easier to live with. Although to be fair, you will find that a, a fair few things have crept through because some of the things, not all the changes are due to DLC, some are actually due to Yeah, a lot of the changes came with patches as opposed to DLC. I'm just going to be what fight a few moments. Bear with me.
Sorry about that, I'm back. Right, let's catch up. Frog wasn't your idea. It's playable, they are good. Hiding all the major chain DLCs, yeah. We need a quick fix for spy network ASCP. That's kind of retarded right now. I like the I like the spy network. I think it makes more sense. Again, that's my opinion, but I kind of like it. New cannons, new cavalry, like that. Leave that one for a moment. I like quality because I like to then get I like to get innovative at some point so I can get modern firearms. That'll give me artillery combat ability, a discipline at the end. We'll take that. The other bonus is we've got our corruption ticking down again. It's good. Oh, about yeah, individual bugs obviously need to be fixed. Yeah, sorry, I thought you meant about the actual central mechanic itself. I I follow and I agree entirely. Great. You know, it'd be nice if you went and dealt with the stuff in my land, dude. Yeah, I'm not reducing my trust with Poland. As much as I want to, it's not worth worth it. Cossack aggression. Damn it. <laughs> now they're having Religious upheaval. I want Prague to fall so I can go back and deal with this. Prague has now fallen. Spionage in DLC is far bigger than in patch, I must say they're very nice indeed. Yeah, it's good fun. Coffee... I don't drink hot drinks. I'm a little bit odd like that. Ah, let's see, what was the peace deal? Hungary will see that stuff to Poland. I got... ooh, I got two things. Okay. Different. And Polar now offers us off all yep, yeah, that's cool. Okay, different. Not quite what I was expecting. I'm 
gonna have to change the religion on these pronto. No, well, actually, I'm not turning you into a march. I'm not interested. This was more than I was expecting from them, I'll be honest. Nice if they'd have given some of the stuff to Serbia, but anywho. No loans at the moment, that's good. Not sure I need Optima Boy. Get rid of it. There's money. I'm actually unfussed by that. We get the up, up and rest down as far as we can. We're going to start to unfund the army to get some money coming in. Trying to get this tech done. Start mainlining military ideas. Curious why Ming is probably the only country with no estates. Oh, uh, it's probably something to do with its um Fortunately it's in the process of exploding in this gameplay, but it's because it's a celestial empire or something. Some special mechanic to it. Yeah, Celestial Empire, it's probably to do with that. Basically all of their autonomy is high if memory serves. Right, the reason I'm not already... Let's get rid of the I the mission I'm currently doing because it's useless to me. Annoyingly. Not written right. right let's see if there's any particular buildings right now. Oh, plus 18, we'll have that. Always after things that will make me decent return on the investment of cash put in. I need to up upgrade my fleet soon. <laughs> 